I found a workaround for the pink cast for the cinema DNGs that come out of Magic Lantern. But, uh, I found out if you uh, open up uh, After Effects and uh, I have After Effects CC, I'm on CC, and uh, import your project into here, do your adjustments in uh, After Effects, and what you need to do is to save as a CS6 um, file. And once you do that, I'll just cancel because I've already done it, um, is go into Premiere Pro. And what you need to do is start a new project. Uh, and then once you do that, then import uh, and here's the one I made uh, I don't need to choose it because it's already up um, and then it brings it in properly to Premiere Pro it'll bring it in properly with your uh, ACR plugin adjustments there you go so that's what you need to do to to uh, you have to do your adjustments in AE and then uh, save your project, bring it in, and then it'll dynamic link. I'll just bring up uh, some DNG, Sima DNGs, just to show you. Um, okay, so there's our ducks. I just brought in and see the problem of the problem is it always brings in uh, with cinema DNG with, with DNGs it brings in at 24 frames so you have to uh, modify um, to the proper uh, frame rate because it's not 24 it's 23.96 and uh, and then I just put it on the timeline and then and then there it is see if you bring the DNG in you uh, get the pink cast so the only way you can do this you gotta, you gotta save it as a CS6 project uh, and then you can import it there you go guys there's a workaround